We all love movies with twists, whether they're obscure, inspiring, or shocking. These fantastic oh. twists have been a staple of movies since the birth of cinema. Welcome to Binge TV, and today we've narrowed down top 10 craziest twists in the movies. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to turn on notifications for more videos like this one. 10th place, Memento. First in the line, we have Memento. The main character, Leonard Shelby, is played by Guy Pearce. Leonard suffers from a rare, untreatable form of memory loss. To keep himself focused, he writes notes, takes Polaroids, and follows the tattooed clues inked all over his torso. Leonard is being manipulated by those around him, specifically Teddy, a police officer who is essentially using Leonard to kill the people that he wants dead by tricking him into thinking that they're the ones responsible for his wife's murder. Teddy sends Leonard to a location, convincing him that Jimmy is John G, the murderer of his wife. Once Leonard kills Jimmy, Teddy plans on taking Jimmy's money. Ninth place, Shutter Island. Next up, we have Shutter Island. The implausible escape of a brilliant murderess brings U.S. Marshal Teddy Daniels and his new partner Mark Ruffalo to Ashcliffe Hospital. The woman appears to have vanished from a locked room, and there are hints of terrible deeds committed within the hospital walls. As the investigation deepens, Teddy realizes that he will have to confront his dark fears if he hopes to make it off the island alive. Teddy Daniels is actually a patient at the facility. His real name is Andrew Latis, and he killed his wife after she drowned their children. The entire investigation is nothing but an act, masterminded by lead psychiatrist John Cawley, aimed at bringing Andrew back to the real world. Eighth place, Hereditary. After the sudden death of their grandmother, Ellen, a grieving family struggles to get their lives back together. But after the grave is vandalized, Annie sees a vision of her late mother in her house, and it becomes clear that Ellen had a much darker hold over the family home than her daughter knew. Ellen was actually part of a coven dedicated to summoning a demon called Paimon, who requires a male host to inhabit. Joanne, the supposed support group member, has been a part of this coven all along, and now that Ellen is dead, she's doing everything she can to carry out her wishes. Seventh place, The Mist. Next up, we have The Mist. After a powerful storm damages their main home, David Drayden and his son head into town to gather food and supplies. A thick fog rolls in and engulfs the town, trapping everyone in the grocery store. Terror mounts as deadly creatures reveal themselves outside, but that may be nothing compared to the threat within, where a zealot calls for a sacrifice. After the surviving members find a car and go driving through the mist looking for help, they eventually run out of gas. With no options left, they decide to take what they think is the easier way out. The father uses his last four bullets to shoot all of them, including his son, to avoid being torn apart by monsters. Moments later, as the father waits in his car for his inevitable death, the mist suddenly begins to clear around him and the U.S. Army shows up out of nowhere, blasting the monsters away. Sixth place, The Prestige. The Prestige plot shows Edwardian London, where two rival magicians partner until the tragic death of an assistant during a show, after one of them performs the ultimate magic trick of teleportation. His rival tries desperately to uncover the secret of his routine. Alfred is not one, but two people, identical twins who sell the transported man by appearing to the audience at different times from across the stage or auditorium. Robert never stood a chance of replicating it, and he died over and over again just to come to lose. Fifth place, The Cabin in the Woods. Five college students visit a cabin in the woods for a weekend of summer fun and become the victims of a violent, undead cult of zombie hillbillies. The students discover that they are not at the cabin of their own volition, but were lured there to participate in a ritual controlled by a group of researchers who need cabin in the woods-like setups to happen to appease a pantheon of powerful unnamed gods. If the god is not appeased, the world will be destroyed. Two of the students escape the cabin and travel to the researcher's lab, at which point all hell breaks loose and they unleash monsters on the scientists who killed their friends. Fourth place, Murder on the Orient Express. Murder on the Orient Express tells the tale of Detective Hercule Poirot, a Christie staple, as his relaxing three-day journey aboard the Orient Express devolves into a murder investigation. The suspects are 13 passengers, most of whom seem to have no connection to the murdered man, Edward Ratchet. And a few years before, he murdered a three-year-old heiress named Daisy Armstrong. Daisy's murder destroyed her family, killed her mother, drove her father to suicide, and resulted in Cassetti's death at the hands of the Armstrong family's remaining friends and relative. Every suspect worked together to murder Cassetti and exact revenge. Third place, Knives Out. Next in the line, we have Knives Out. The circumstances surrounding the death of crime novelist Harlan Thrombey are mysterious. But there's one thing that renowned detective Benoit Blanc knows for sure. Everyone in the wildly dysfunctional Thrombey family is a suspect. 
Now, Blanc must sift through a web of lies and red herrings to uncover the truth. Knives Out has all the shocking twists you'd expect in a classic movie. The first is that Harlan killed himself, but it was only because he thought he was dying anyway. His nurse Marta appeared to have switched his medicine by mistake, giving him a lethal shot of morphine and leaving him with minutes to live. To stop her from getting into legal trouble, Harlan masterminded his alibi for her before he died. However, the horrible reality is that Marta didn't make any mistake at all. Ransom, Harlan's grandson, initially switched the labels on the medicine bottles after finding out that Marta was due to inherit Harlan's estate. But Marta, operating automatically based on the viscosity of the liquid, had administered the correct medication to Harlan. Second place, Gone Girl. A former New York writer, Nick Dunn, played by Ben Affleck, and his glamorous wife, Amy, played by Rosamund Pike, present a portrait of the blissful marriage to the public. However, when Amy goes missing on the couple's fifth wedding anniversary, Nick becomes the prime suspect in her disappearance. The resulting police pressure and media frenzy cause the Dunn's image to tantalizing questions about who Nick and Amy truly are. Not only is Nick not the killer, but Amy isn't even dead. She's been hiding out in the Ozarks the whole time, having planned to frame her husband after she found out he'd been cheating on her. Amy is a very cunning sociopath, and she has been fabricating her diary and leaving little clues and hints to try and make Nick look as guilty as she possibly can. First place, The Empire Strikes Back. Last in the line, we have The Empire Strikes Back. Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Princess Leia, and Chewbacca face attack by the Imperial forces. While Han and Leia escape in the Millennium Falcon, Luke travels to Dagobah in search of Yoda. As Darth Vader hoped, Luke arrived at Cloud City to help his friends, and Vader was ready for him with a lightsaber in hand. Once Vader had Luke cornered, he unveiled that he is Luke's father, who was once known as Anakin Skywalker. Luke denied this in shock and horror, but he did accept this revelation before long. This reveal explains how Luke is so powerful in the Force, having Vader as a parent. So, what are your thoughts on all these movies with their crazy twists? Let us know in the comments below. Also, make sure to leave us a like, share this video with your friends, and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time for more.